Hey everyone, so Samir S asked me recently if there's a way for your prices to change on your Shopify store depending on a customer's location. So to answer this question quickly, yes there is. There's plugins that exist for Shopify that you can install on your Shopify store which allow your prices to change currency, so from US dollars to British pounds to euros, whatever currency you can think of depending on when, where your visiting customer is located in the world. So a currency converter, that's what they're called, these plugins, a currency converter that a lot of my viewers have recommended to me in my previous comment sessions is a currency converter called Best Currency Converter, I believe the name of it. I'll link you to the specific plugin uh, in the description below. I believe it's called Best Currency Converter. And what this does is it allows your prices, whether they're base currency of your store is dollars, pounds, whatever country your visitor is coming from, is visiting from, your prices will change to that country's local currency. So um, there's two versions of this plugin. There's the free version and the paid for version, the sort of elite paid for version. So the free version works. What you do is you install the plugin, the free plugin, and what that does is it installs a drop down box. It places that on your um, product pages in the top right corner of your store. And basically, what customers can then do is they can click the drop down box. There'll be a label like select your local currency. They'll click the drop down box. If they're in America, they can select US dollars. If they're in Canada, they can select Canadian dollars, England, British pounds. They can select their local currency, and that will automatically change all the prices on your store to that customer's local currency. So it gets the job done. It takes a few steps from the customer, but it does what you're after. The paid for version, the paid for version automatically detects the customer's location, where they are in the world, where they're visiting from, and automatically changes your store's prices to your customer's local currency. So you're removing a step for the customer, increasing the chance of that customer buying because there's less requirements from that customer uh, before they get to the checkout. Um, so yeah, there are uh, options for you. Little uh, limitation that this uh, plugin has. Um, the prices will be shown on the store pages, the product pages, in the customer's local currency. But as soon as that customer goes to the checkout page, your prices are always going to revert back to your Shopify store's default currency. So if, you're, have, if you have an American Shopify store, your default currency is US dollars, but you have a British customer buying, they're seeing all their prices in British pounds, they add it to the cart, they go to the checkout. When they go to the checkout, they're gonna see those prices that they've added displayed in US dollars, not in their local currency of British pounds. So these plugins do have a limitation, um, whether you have the free version or the paid for version, they are always gonna to revert to the store's default currency when they get to the checkout page. Um, also, I explained a problem before where I wanted to um, integrate my Shopify store to a American Amazon account with the um, Amazon app that exists for Shopify. You could only do this if your store's base currency was American dollars. Now, installing a, installing a currency conversion into your store, getting the prices to display in pounds, Canadian dollars, it won't make any difference unless your um, base currency is American dollars. You still won't be able to install plugins that only work for American stores. So it's a good front-end um, switcher. It displays differently for the customer, but it's not going to work with apps that are only supported um, for American stores. So if you need to change your base currency, a currency converter won't work, but if you want your customers to see currency in their local currency, while they're shopping, you want to install the currency converter. So I hope that's helped. Um, if I've said anything here that's not right, if I've made a mistake, make sure to correct me in the comments box below. Um, make sure to send me some more questions if you have any around Shopify, e-commerce, online business, and I'll make sure to answer them in these daily Q&A videos as soon as I can watching Start Starting Up. This is a YouTube channel where I explore online business ideas. I answer your questions every day and I give you weekly updates on uh, the latest um, announcements and releases in online business, e-commerce, dropshipping, on how I'm doing with my um, progress on my uh, online projects that I'm using to try and make money. I talk to you about my successes and my failures so you can learn from what I'm doing and not copy the mistakes I make. 
Uh, so make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and also make sure to uh, subscribe to the Start Starting Up newsletter that comes out every two weeks, every second Friday. You can uh, subscribe to that on my website startstartingup.com, I'll put a link in the description box below and yep, you'll be subscribed to my email and it comes out every two weeks and I basically link you to useful videos, articles on the most um, recent online business, e-commerce, updates and news that is out there and I also link some tools that I use to make money that I've tried and tested that work for me so that you can have the same tools in your arsenal. So subscribe to the channel Start Starting Up, subscribe to the newsletter on startstartingup.com and in the meantime, have a good one, I'll see you soon.